What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 29 of my blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. In the last episode, oh my god, I haven't played in, I haven't played in four days, so uh, I might be a little, a little off on a few things. I don't fully remember everything about where we were at, but I know that we did just get the uh, Lightningium or Electricium, the Z move for Electric types. Uh, by just defeating Sophocles, and we are now in the, what, Hokulani Observatory, and uh, we're pretty much done in here, I'm just kind of exploring this room a little bit. Oh, that's a meteor that fell from space, give it to me then, I bet it's a Pokemon. So, I, I guess we're, yeah, we're pretty much finished in here, I know that before I didn't fully explore down this way, uh, but it doesn't look like... Yeah. They're just giving the impression this is a much larger building than it is, but uh it's it's all it's all just a trick. They're just trying to trick me. So I I'm pretty sure we're done in here. Maybe we'll encounter some kind of story arc on our way out. No. No, nothing here. Was there always a poker center here? Did I just not go in this earlier? Have I any side quests? That guy's from Kanto, and Bill. You know what they're doing a really good job of is referencing things people remember about the game from Kanto and Johto. Uh, drinks normally cost an arm and a leg, but on the mountain, you know. I still don't get that one. Something about Starmie sending a message. Me. This guy... Oh, oops. I shouldn't have said no. I should have said yes. What did he say? Only uh, okay. So just a bunch of vitamins for full price. And this guy sees my sparkling Z crystal from Sophocles and wants to sell me more stuff. Probably max potions and ultra balls. All right, there you go. Not bad. Uh, anything special? Just max repels. But I'm okay. I'm okay with where we're at at the moment. Uh, do I need to heal my Pokemon? Probably. I could have checked, or I could have just healed them. So what? I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I'm not sure what the next uh, what the next step is here. Um, but there's one thing I wanted to do. I remember, and that's run down back down the mountain, uh, the old manual way, the old fashioned way. Did I? Was there always a dude right here, riding on a Mudsdale? My brother is like a brother to me. No, my Pokemon's like a brother to me. He's not interested in battling weaknesses. If you want me to ask him to fight you, then beat all the trainers on Mount Hokulani. Okay, so side quest, uh, top of the mountain of Mount Hokulani is the final trainer. So we got to beat everyone on Mount Hokulani. And I'm not sure how big this is, honestly. We saw in the last episode... Uh, the totem Pokemon flew all the way up, and I don't remember how to pronounce that totem Pokemon's name. I also don't know if... Yeah, so I think we battled that guy, right? And we can't go that way. And, um, okay, items and more grass. A heavy ball. A heavy ball. See, now, Heavy Balls were in, was it Gen 4? But you made them with Apricorns. That's interesting. I haven't seen one of those in a really long time. Minior, I'm pretty confident this is the only Pokemon in this grass. I'm honestly getting to that point. I don't really believe that. There's too much going on here. I don't know that they can actually play that game. Um... He's a different color! I'm catching him. Okay, so we just caught a second Minior, and the reason was he was a different color, and I thought that was kind of cool. So, <laughs> so that's pretty much the only reason I did that. Uh, no, we're not going to give him a nickname. We already gave one a, a nickname. We're going to send him to the box, but I, I like that. I like that they have different colors of them, and every, you know, they'll, they'll come into every battle, and they'll be in their little shell, and then they'll break open the shell, and you'll be like, what color is this one? I want a blue one. Is there a blue one? 
I'm just gonna have to keep breaking them open. More mini ores. Why are they all mini ore though? There's gotta be something else here, right? I'm not crazy. So, here's another thing that I just started considering. And it's gonna be... Let me explain it while I'm healing up my Pokemon. What I'm going to do at some point in this episode is fly back to, I think it was Coney Coney. Because I know that uh, was one of the trainers there, Olivia, I think, sells evolution stones. And now I've got a couple right now. I think the generics, uh, fire, water, and thunderstone. Uh, basically the stuff to evolve. What is that? That is so cool. Ah, look at he's got a little coconut. Pass Simeon? Oh my god. Like, pass me the ball because he's like a basketball player the way he's holding that? Oh my word. Oh my god. I need that. I need that Pokemon so badly. Um, it might be normal type. I'm gonna hit it with a power-up punch to see if it's super effective. Normal effectiveness, so not that. Um, uh, it could be fighting. If I hit it with pursuit, it will resist it. If it's fighting, it's got beat up, dark type. It could be dark. No, it would have been super effective uh, when I hit him with the power punch. Not very effective. Uh, could be fighting type then. Uh, what other mixtures could it be? It could be. Um, well, if it was going to be something, I'm not sure. I'll hit it with a dizzy punch right now. Take down. Ooh, that's beast. Hit him with the old one, two. One more of those will take it out. Another takedown might take me out. Oh, good. He's going for the scary face. Pass Simeon, though. I love that. One, two, boom, boom. Take him out. He tripped over the ball. <laughs> I want that Pokemon so badly. Oranguru. Okay, so we get to see two Pokemon I haven't seen before. And now I'm like thinking there's probably something else in this grass besides Minior. Probably one of these two. Oranguru we know we get in Lush Jungle. So we have to at some point go back there. I'll probably do that off camera. Um, uh, we're going to switch Pokemon because... McBro is a little bit weak, and I don't know what Oranguru is. I don't know what it is, what he do, what it is, what it be, how he come from. Let's get it, Nips. Little baby Nips. He's holding ground. Oh my god, he looks so... <laughs> He's like a wise old orangutan, Oranguru. I love it. The design is exactly what his name implies. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's grass type. I'm gonna guess. Uh, let's go for a leech life. Do I think I'm faster than him? I could be. I could go for a growth first. No, I couldn't. Let's go for a leech life. Yeah, he's faster than me. Faint attack. He is grass. And that's super effective. Uh, let's try two more, and then we should get him stored power. Now I'm thinking, like, maybe he's psychic. I really hope he's not grass psychic, and that's a four times super effective move, and it's still doing that little. Or maybe I do wish that. Maybe Oranguru is a freaking beast. Psych up. Good thing I didn't go for growth earlier. That's what I was considering. And Oranguru goes down. Because he didn't know what moves to use and basically didn't attack me at all. <laughs> See, bad skit getting some EXP. Z Drive wants to learn takedown. Um, that's a normal type move. Why do I care about teaching a rock flying Pokemon a normal type move? The Collector Todd goes down. It doesn't give me very much because he spent all of it collecting things. Uh, okay, so... Oh, that's a little drop-down area. I didn't realize that. Pokeball item here, and a conspicuous rock. I bet you there's an item in that. Oh, well, we'll have to find out after this battle. 
Oh my god, a ditto. Oh my word, is it an imposter ditto? It sure isn't. What a useless thing. <laughs> um, I guess hit him with a power-up punch. Oh my god, I killed it. No! Really? Really? I just O-code that ditto. Darn it. Okay, let's go see if there's an item there. I guess not. So we keep going. We continue our trek. Oh, oops. Uh, advanced tips. You can retake the photo for your trainer passport. Into oh, remember there was like a camera feature? Remember that? Are we at the bottom of this road yet? I can't even... So that's where we were. That's the Executor Express, isn't it? Magmar. Okay, I get it. You don't want me to be on my Tauros. Thank you. Want a ride down to the stop at the base? No, I sure don't. But he won't let me. So, let's go back to the top and see if it, they consider that I've defeated all the trainers here yet. Because if not, then I might have to take the take the road down. Are you the one that defeated? Oh, yeah, I guess so. All right, fair is fair. I like kids with a bit of pep. You ready for a scuffle? Sure am. Sorry, kid, but something about my Pokemon is what he said to me. I wasn't really paying attention. This guy's a nobody. He just thinks he's a beast. He is a veteran. Veteran Akira. He's got one Pokemon. It's an Absol. I mean, I suppose anyone can have any... Z-type crystal as long as they know the move for it, but What well, he's got dark type Z move Well, let's hit him with a power up punch one way or the other. He's gonna go for a quick attack. That might kill me. Honestly. Yeah <laughs> Absol is pretty powerful and I was basically dead on McBro. So who's next? Uh, Nips can hit him super effective with a bug type I'm grass purely though. So it's not like I resist his his move Could go bugnitude Let's go Bugnitude. He'll resist it because he's part bug. Hit him with a stab X scissor. Probably Oko him. I'm assuming he'll go for the dark type Z move right now, though. There it is. Let's get a look at this, though. Z power. Is it dark type? Could just be like a normal type thing. Black hole eclipse. That's got to be dark type. Okay. There's no need for that, Absol. That's unnecessary. That was unnecessary. I guess I don't resist Bug. I guess Bug is just super effective against Dark and doesn't go the other way. I forgot. Oh well. <laughs> God, that did so much damage, but uh, we still took him out. You. You've got some good Pokemon, kid. Thanks for showing my brother a good time. Here's your thanks. TM95 Snarl. Very cool. You know, Z power is more or less the power of the pledge you've made to your Pokemon. I don't know that that's true. I think you're, you're kind of just talking out of your butt there, veteran Akira. But uh, Snarl is a not a bad move in doubles, actually. It's a VGCable move for sure. Okay, so now I suppose I do have to take this this ride down. Is this where you do the camera thing? It's like a little ledge. I'm just not sure if there's anything else I want to do up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure... I think I'm just going to keep going down. we got to keep this going. I really want a Passimian. I honestly do. But let's take a flight now. Um, uh, yeah, we have to zoom out. How do I do that? Uh, do I press this side button here? This is a Kala. Yeah. And then Coney Coney. There we go. I'm going to fly to Coney Coney. I'm going to go to that stone shop. I really just want to see if there's... I want one of every stone just to use as a safe check for evolving Pokemon. Because at any given time I have Pokemon on my team that aren't really evolving, it'd be useful to just be able to go into my inventory and say, okay, 
Do you have anything for me? Welcome to the jewelry shop. What do I got? Seriously, they only have the basics, also. Did I see that earlier? Did I already know all of this? Only one per customer, and that's set in stone. What do you say? Plume fossil or armor fossil? Plume makes me think it'll be a bird of some kind. Armor makes me think it'll be kind of like a tough, shielded kind of thing. Um, let's go with an armor fossil. I'm going to pay him for this? I mean, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but... Cool. No plume fossil for me. This is a... A rare find that the store's owner, Olivia, brought all the way from Sinnoh. Oh. So, it's gonna literally be, like, Bastiodon? Or Shieldon? And the other one would have been, what, um... Archeops? Or Arkin? Okay, so... Uh, I'm a little disappointed, not gonna lie, because I really wanted, like, a Dawn Stone or a Sun Stone or whatever they're called. Because I'm a little... Do I see something shining over there? What's this? The strange creature, and it showed me a picture. Sina wants to talk to you. Signal from your Zygarde cube. The creature that just got cut is what we call a Zygarde core. Cores are mysterious creatures that form Zygards together with cells. Also, cores retain Zygards moves. You can use the Zygarde cube to teach your Zygarde a move. Why don't you try it sometime? Bon chance. I don't really want to use Zygarde. To be honest. Is, are they trying to say that I have one right now? That's kind of cool. Well, good thing I checked out up there, guys. A uh, little secret Zygarde core. Phone's blowing up. Don't know if the microphone picked up that. So, okay, super disappointing, honestly, uh, that that it turned out the way that did. So what do we do here? Um, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do next. I'm assuming I just go back to that city and there's, there's somewhere else to go. Maybe Rotom will tell me. Doesn't he tell me? Doesn't he do something? I don't know what I don't know where to go. Um, oh, there we go. Nice little flag here in uh, in Mali City. So yeah, let's fly to Mali. Melee. Super Smash Brothers Melee. I'm mad that I didn't catch that Ditto. He was slower than me, which I, I should have assumed would be the case, and uh, failed to. Take into account that a power-up punch from McBro was just going to outright take him out. What am I missing on side quests? Need to catch Orin Guru in the lush jungle. I'm going to do that between this episode and the next episode. Uh, and then I need uh, an Alola Persian for Alola Oak. Oh, is that Samson Oak? Oh yeah, in the melee library. So I need to... Evolve a Meowth. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't know what level he evolves, but it's probably in the 20s. And I can get to level 20 pretty easily in this at this stage in the game. So maybe all of that will occur. Oh, Team Skull going on. Yo, 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 hold up, yo. Mr. Kukui. You say you want to make a Pokemon League? Yo, you got rocks in your skull? Four turns. Huh? Bring it on, both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, so yeah, I'm always ready. Oh yeah, I'll take you both on in a battle royale, and you'll be down just a swift and incinerator too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Yo, for real? F fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor. You numbskulls should learn your place. They say numbskulls so much. Battle royale, huh? Nice idea there, Kukui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? Uh-oh. Who's this 
punk. Look at this guy. It's Guzma. The boss has graced us with his presence, says the grunt. Guzma. Wusma. Wusman. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. He calls himself Big Bad Guzma. Come on now. Greetings, cowering public. We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the professor, the Pokemon professor, Kukui, and in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. All right. Fellow rejects who could never become captains. We've got these moldy old traditions in Alola, the Kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kukui. You've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everybody already knows who the strongest trainer is on these islands. Speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I can become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat Old Hala. And I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and the Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment, when it really counts. <sighs> Give everyone a chance to be pushed to the limit. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Kukui. Let's go. Right, Geo? Don't you agree? That's right. If you're, you're one of the kids on this island's challenge. You don't look like Hala's grandson. This is Geo. He just moved to Alola recently. Discovery. New experiences. Adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Well, don't put words in my mouth, Kakui. You don't know that I'm really loving this. But honestly, this dialogue's going on too long. But he sees the bracelet. He knows the Z moves. You got a Z ring, huh, kid? Why even bother on this island challenge? What's the point of it? What's the point of it? That's what I want to find out. You don't even know why you're doing it? Watch closely, Kikui. Someday I'm going to destroy you, but first I'm going to destroy everything you care about. You want to see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form. It's your boy. It's your boy, Guzma. <laughs> Alright, Team Skull battle against Guzma. Big boss, man. Galisa pod. Whoa. Okay. Dang, we're seeing a lot of new Pokemon in this episode. Not even bad. Um, Galisa pod. Probably a bug type. Gonna resist fighting and uh, dark. Yeah, he looks like a bug. He could even be part poison, part bug, which would mean he four times resists power punch so I might as well just go for the dizzy on the outright I'm assuming the power punch could be useful but this thing's the same level as me and looks kind of beastly um, kind of looks ultra beastly that's a little Sun and Moon reference because <laughs> we're learning anyway uh, dizzy punch let's go for it oh my word oh god he's setting up on me oh god what have I done Oh no. I hit him for so little. That did so little damage. Let's go power up punch. I got it. Yeah, he resisted that. I got an attack boost. That's nice. Razor shell. That's going to murder me. I'm dead. Oh my word. He literally swords danced like right on top of my face. Um, let's not mess around too much with this. Let's go a little pee. Because this guy got the advantage of setting up on a Pokemon that it, it could do nothing to it. Let's hit him with an acrobatic, see if he really is what he says he is. Yeah. Emergency exit? That is a cool, cool ability. Uh, although he lost a turn in, in result, so it's really only useful if, uh, I'm gonna hit this guy with an acrobatics too while I'm at it. He's gonna hit me with a shatter sneak. That's gonna do negligible damage. Uh, I might Oko him. It's just an Ariados. Yeah. <laughs> Emergency exit. I love it. It's like, uh, it's seriously like an eject button. Uh, am I gonna switch my Pokemon? I mean, he's not set up anymore. I don't think he can Oko me. Let's try and get someone else to get some experience here. See, bad skit is... I don't know that he'll actually kill him. 
That guy was so defensive, and I'm pretty sure that McBro is stronger than Seabadskit, and even with his remaining health, I, see, I think Seabadskit might die in an attempt to try and take him out. 77 HP. Uh, let's do it anyway. Let's bring in Seabadskit. He's so much lower level than the rest of my Pokemon. He's, we gotta try and involve him a little bit here. So bring in Seabadskit. He's in the red. It's gotta be Stomp. He's gonna go straight for the Razor Shield. Oh, that's super effective. Stupid. I thought maybe I'd have a chance if he went for Swords Dance first, but uh, yeah, that's not working out for us. Uh, Bugnitude will finish him off. You can always count on old Bugnitude. Acrobatics. I outsped him? Bugnitude is so slow. He's kind of a high level though. He's been with me for a long time. Almost as long as my starter. No, he hasn't. Nowhere near that long, actually. <laughs> so Guzma goes down. Guzma, what's wrong with you? Now it's time for your va vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything. It was Geo, right? I remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. He didn't get... He used a giant Pokemon on me. Team Skull will have to go lick their wounds now. Getting beat by a child is... <laughs> That's kind of a messed up thing to say. Getting beat by a child. Like in almost every single league for a long time. Oh. What just happened? Primarium Z? I probably should have read that. That might have been the first time I've ever skipped conversation that hasn't been useless. Mulane gave you that, yeah? I'll take it, if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the Mask Royal safe and sound. They keep playing this game like we don't know who that is. I don't even remember receiving that, I'm gonna be honest. So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere, Geo? I'm right here. And this is Acarola. Oh, oh and so is Acarola. And how is probably at the Malasada shop somewhere, yeah? You and Professor fought those horrible Team Skull thugs, Geo? Just thinking about it makes me worry. They sound like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in a battle is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm gonna head up to Mount Lanakila. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everyone has a chance to find their own perfect move. He's so about, like, moves. That's interesting. Geo, you're sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? This girl's creepy, so I feel like her voice would be like, Ah, <laughs> Geo, you made your way through Sophocles' trial. <laughs> that, I can't really do that. It kind of hurts my throat, so I'm not going to keep doing that. That's great. Now you can take your trial up past Route 11 through Tapu Village. Okay, so now I know where I'm going at least. And then those two are BFFs now, and they're going to go shopping. You did clear heh, Sophie's trial, right? <laughs> Man, what a little punk. Rotom just totally pulled a fast one on us there. Um, but you know what? This seems like a reasonable time to end the episode. So what did we accomplish in this episode? We failed to catch a ditto. Uh, we got the TM Snarl. We finished the Hokulani Observatory. And we saw a lot of really cool new Pokemon. And that's going to take us to the end of this episode. And what I'm going to do uh, off screen, so what you will come back to, will be me having found, hopefully, Oranguru, if I actually succeed in finding him. And then uh, I won't turn that in until I'm back on camera with you guys. And I'm probably, in the meantime, going to level up a Meowth to make it a Persian. So I'll turn in both those quests on camera with you guys. You won't miss a beat. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.